Hello again, Bison Nation. Welcome to the 2017 season. Our uh, game day preview here as the North Dakota State Bison are ready and uh, raring to get after it, taking on the Delta Devils of Mississippi Valley State. Jeremy Jorgensen, I'm Jeff Colhane, and the Delta Devils coming to town here, Jorgie, a team out of the SWAC, head coached by Rick Comagy in his fourth season. On the offensive side of the football, uh, some new faces there at the quarterback position. We could see two or three guys in this game potentially. Jet Evans, a quarterback, Juco player out of Pasadena City College in uh, California. And a guy by the name of Dwayne Betts actually committed to Kansas State at one point a season ago. They do have a nice guy by the name of Booker Chambers as well, who was a great player two years ago. So some speed and some guys around the perimeter that do some nice things. I think one thing you'll see from SWAC teams is a lot of talent. They have skill at wide receiver. I think the quarterback will be able to run around a little bit, dual threat. Um, you know, there's talent on this team. Uh, you know, there's individual talent on this team. Can they mesh it all together? Can their offensive line hold its own in the trenches, which I think is the big question mark in this game. Yeah, here's Nick DeLuca and Nate Tangway, two guys that were injured a year ago. Excited about this season ahead. I think defensively we definitely have a veteran group. We're really excited because there's a lot of guys that are leaders within each position group. And, you know, we got a lot of playmakers. And there's... I said it before, you know, the sky's the limit, and I think the potential is, is through the roof for this group. I feel like, you know, sophomore year and then um, junior year last year, I mean, we still had some, you know, young guys in uh, new positions and everything, but this year, I mean, everybody's a vet now. I mean, there's no reason why we can't uh, have a great season on defense. On the flip side for Mississippi Valley State, defensively a team a year ago that they gave up some points. They gave up right around 45 points per game a season ago in a 1-10 campaign. They lose their top player on the defensive line in Khalil Young. He led them in tackles, tackles for a loss, sacks, forced fumbles. But they do have some good players, a couple of good returners in the back end. Uh, Jorgie Everett Nicholas and Ferry and Tony are two guys that return in the secondary that uh, Rick Comagy is hoping they can really lead the charge for them uh, from that defensive secondary. Well, I think Coach Comagy, like any other coach, will be worried about the trenches. Uh, he's bringing in some uh, transfers, some experience, uh, trying to get some culture going on the defensive side of the football. They did struggle in the SWAC last year. I think they'll have some renewed energy in game one here, though. Uh, Bison captain for the second year in a row, and junior quarterback Easton Stick says, you know what, we got to worry about ourselves in this football game on Saturday. You don't really know, and that's every year. As far as the first game, what you're going to see, uh, you've had a whole off season to prepare and to watch and to grow individually as players, as a team, and so uh, you really have to focus on your fundamentals, uh, your keys, stuff like that, and, and be sharp in what you're doing rather than really worrying about what someone else is trying to do to you. The Bison and the Delta Devils kick it off on Saturday, 234 is the kick time. Listen on the Peterson Farm Seat, Bison Radio Network. Network pregame starts at 2 p.m. ESPN College Extra for television. That's a direct TV channel, 793. Also ESPN3 and statewide NBC. You have lots of options. Yep, going to be great. He's Jeremy Jorgensen. I'm Jeff Colhane. This has been your game day preview. We hope you enjoy it on Saturday.